Hey guys, so went to uh, the store to get some stuff and I ended just picking up three more Darkness Ablaze packs. Uh, the other pack that I was trying to remember the other day when I did it was Rebel Clash. Uh, there was only one pack of Rebel Clash and it was over by like the 4th of July food stuff. So I'm like, nah, Rebel Clash, in my opinion, just isn't that great of a set. I'm sure they're, you know, great cards and great artwork. I just don't think it's that great of a set. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. I'm sure there are people out there who think Crimson Invasion is the perfect set. It's the most amazing thing ever. So, But anyway, we're just going to get right into this. The last time uh, we did this, we got a lovely uh, full art Eevee. Or not Eevee, but Butterfree. Uh, actually, it's right here. That's the card we got last time. I said I was going to put it in my book, and I just never got around to it. So, but we got that the last time. So, hopefully, we get some... Oh, not with this pack, though. For you. And again, for people who don't know, it's like, Hey, John, how do you know what you're going to get? Because of that. If it's all green, you're not going to get anything. If it's uh, green and white, that means it's a holographic or above. Two, three, and four to the front. Um, let's see. Guess the energy. I'm gonna say fire. I should have gone with my gut instinct. Usually, I start off with psychic, but I'm like, let me just change it up this time. And uh, what do you know? It was freaking psychic. Corvus. Hey, this this one's looking awfully familiar. I'm just kidding. Chairman Rose. Such a nice guy. Poltygeist. Vanillite. Trapinch. Love Trapinch. Such a so basic looking. And Teddy Ursa. Gotta love Teddy Ursa. Panseer. Just how I like some of the roast. And some chicken. More lols. We need more lols in our life. Heat energy. And Serena. Those those long legs. The desire of many uh, Rule 34 users. Artists. Um, so, which is, I think, the second pack last time we got Butterfree. So, hopefully, Tennis Scorch on the front. Oh, sometimes it just, sometimes it just doesn't want to open. There we go. And I, I'm, I have to be so delicate because I've got massive hands and I can't just tear at these packs. Nope, nothing good. All right. One, two, three, four to the front. I said what? Fire last time? I'm going to say metal? You go for the ones that you don't get very often and you get cracked on. So we got leaf energy. Come on. Why is it called a hiding energy but it's got the dark energy on it? Camera, seriously, focus. Focus, focus. Okay. All right, Fletchender. Gotharita. You font. Wishy washy. Rowl it. <laughs> skitty skitty. Skitty kitty. Toxel. Very cool Pokemon, especially when it turns into Toxtricity. A reverse trap pinch. And Hydreigon. So nothing. Alright. Last pack magic. Please. Please. Arceus above, Giratina below. Someone bless this last pack. Last pack magic. It's like pulling out a Wonka bar and hoping for a freaking golden ticket. Because you don't know what you're going to get. Mama said lock was like a pack of Pokemon cards. You never know what you're going to get. Which is... A lot better, honestly, because 
a box of chocolates, you know exactly what you're going to get in a box of chocolates because it shows you on the box the chocolates that are inside. Pokemon cards don't show you what cards you're going to get on the inside. Well, that's unfortunate because... One, two, three, four... I'll say dark. That's how I'm feeling right now. Well, that was fun. That was fun. You know, it was it was great. Ah, Steeny. Alright, love him. Yellhorn. Dano. Ufont. It's kind of. Ufont's got a hundred. Pretty good for a Pokemon. Uh, early form Pokemon. Morlol. Hansir. Vanillish. And. Lugia. Very nice. Non holographic, but. Lugia, Lugia. Energy loop. Put an energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it really is an energy loop. You use energy loop, it does 120 damage. You take an energy, put it in your hand, and then like the next, your next turn, you can put it back and attack again. It's an endless loop. Um, I'm sure you guys thought I was going to give up after that. You saw me just throw the cards into the air. No. It's disappointing, yeah. But when you buy only three packs, you know, your, your luck is kind of, you know, diminished there. Unlike, say, a booster box where you're pretty much guaranteed a certain amount of hollows, a certain amount of uh, full arts and secret rares and this and that. When you buy three random packs, it's random. That's why it should be. Mama said life is like a pack of Pokemon cards. You never know what you're going to get. So, but yeah, there's there's that. Like I said, Rebel Clash was, they had like one pack of Rebel Clash. Honestly, it would have been funny if I bought Rebel Clash and that was like the one pack that actually had something in it. I could have like a freaking secret rare from that or something right now, but it's like, no, I hate Rebel Clash. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, Just don't do it. Um, And then, like I said, you know, some people think Crimson Invasion is a great set. Or as a breakpoint. They're terrible sets. Terrible sets. There's terrible pulls and you know, there's maybe like one card from each set that's like worth anything good, but anyway. Well, that was fun. That's gonna do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.